What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the differences between the Nemo Hornet Osmo and the Nemo Dagger Osmo. Two great backpacking tents, two very popular backpacking tents, two very new-ish backpacking tents, at least these versions within about the past year or so. And uh, yeah, so I've also got my good friend Eric Hansen here. Eric Hansen. Have you guys seen Eric? Has anybody seen Eric? Eric! Oh, uh, oh, hey. Just uh, taking care of some okay. business over there. Hey, there hey, you are. I'm here. Yeah, I've been here yeah. all along. You were at your new channel is where you were. Well, that is true. I have recently moved. I've been on backpacking TV for the last eight plus years, making YouTube, often with Dan, and now I'm on my own, yeah. I'm on my own new channel, just me, Eric Hansen. So did that joke make sense? Like we couldn't find him, but now we did at his new channel. Did you get that? Yeah, so. Come on. Yeah, so he's over there, backpacking TV is gone. Uh, at least with Eric, it's gone. He's no longer there. So make sure if you've subscribed him over there, or if you haven't done that, please go visit him and subscribe over at his new channel, Eric Hansen. So. Let's get into the tents. Actually, real quick, I want to introduce one more person to you. Oh. We uh, we got rid of Emmett, and we hired a new camera guy. This is my 11, we didn't get rid of Emmett, I'm just kidding, Emmett's right over there. <laughs> but my 11-year-old son is gonna be manning camera two. This is Carter, so everybody in the comments say, what up, Carter? He will love that. He will think that's the greatest thing ever if you tell him what up in the comments. So, and, uh, yeah, don't uh, don't barf from all the quick camera moves that he's gonna be making. So let's get into the tents. I think we should look at Eric's first, and we'll go over to mine. Eric, you are sleeping in the the Nemo Dagger Osmo two-person backpack. Right. This is one that I have not seen in person yet ever. Yeah. So I was really excited when he told me he was bringing this because we both had the new Nemo tent. So I'm like, we got to make this video. It's a natural comparison. It is. it is really natural to go through this. So and tell me about this tent. First off, you can see the difference between the two. This is bigger. This is way more spacious. Yeah, so I think one of the things that I really enjoy so much about this tent is how they do the doorways. You can see there's a there's a stake here and a stake here, okay. which gives it kind of this double supported action. So when you open this up, you have a lot of vestibule space with protection, so you're not exposing any of your tent to rain so or you're weather. So you're, you almost like always have dual, yeah, I see. You all, you, yeah, you, so you have yeah. a little space over here and a little space over here. Do you need two stakes then? So you're, this is like, you're gonna need eight stakes to set up this tent no matter what. You, it's it's made to have eight stakes okay. set up. This yeah. is their landing zone. Ozone layer. So the idea behind this is if you have two people, you're really gonna need to utilize this vestibule space. So you can throw gear into this space, and then this is actually a fairly protected space. And this is the Osmo, right? The Osmo fabric? Yes. Okay, which is stronger, I think, and it's also less stretch resistant. Yes. Or it's more stretch resistant, I mean. It, when, it, when it gets wet, it doesn't sag yeah. like regular nylon. Does. I read it was like three times more yeah. non-saggy. Three times more non-saggy. <laughs> can you get two, how many pads can you get here? Like the big, the, the what size pads and do they fit? So oh. it's, a, it's, it's a rectangular 50 inch floor. So nice. Ed, that's nice because you can obviously then get two yeah. 25 inch wide pads and you're not tapering down. Foot in, head in, 50 inches. 50 inches. Nice. So I have about a foot of headroom and a foot of foot room. You can see that how much the 72 inch long pad has extra room on both sides. The other thing that I really, really like about this tent is actually ditching this rain fly altogether yeah, yeah. and just having, it has such a high visibility. Stargazing is really, really good in this tent. Now, is this a tent that's gonna have a ton of like doodads and whatchamahoojits? You know, so like pockets and <laughs> there's a few <laughs> places to put there, things. There, there are a few. There's a, there's a hanging thing up at the center and then you've got the, the big who's it's and what dads. Is that, is that? Yeah, close enough. Yeah, yeah, you know. Are, you've got these double light ports where you can hang headlamps 
and and actually it kind of creates that glow. Yeah, there is a lot going on in here. Yeah. One of the things that really stands out to me is how much headroom yeah. there, there really is. Like, oh, wow, yeah, because you're like all the I'm, way in the I'm at the end, end yeah. and I'm sitting up oh, gosh. comfortably. Well, we should uh, see it with the uh, rain fly off. What do you think? I, I think it's cool looking at it without the rain fly. So yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do that. that. Cool. Oh, yeah. there is one other thing. I don't know if the, the Hornet has it, but I actually really like these little clips. Is this how the door closures work? Um, yeah, on the new one, it does have those clips, yeah. The, these things? Yep, I think that's new. Cinch that up and clasp it around. That, to me, is a huge improvement and something that I wish other tent manufacturers did something like that. Fully freestanding, yep. It looks like this brow pole is enormous. That's where you're getting all your headroom. And this is like the hubba hubba design, as you were saying before, right? So this is a very similar... Yeah, I mean, it's literally all connected. One set of poles, you're not adding in multiple sets. As you build this out, you really see how it just lifts and expands. And these wings create just a huge amount of that yeah. ridge line space. So if you want a hotel in the backcountry, here it is. This is it. That's cool. Should, Should we, we check uh, out? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's move on. Let's do, com let's do the full compare. Let's see what you got. Okay. Last night was my first night. This is the Nemo Hornet Osmo okay. tent. So this is meant for the long distance traveler, yeah. you know, the through hiker, the, uh, the, the single guy that likes to go out, you know, whatever. He's going to pound out a bunch of miles. He just wants a lighter weight tent. Yeah. And so... I'll be honest, it's an awesome tent. Uh, right away, this is cool. So the inside is, is um, the floor space is, I, it's a decent floor space. It's an average floor space. It's not square. I think it's like maybe 42 on the foot and probably 50 on the head or 48 on the head, something like that. So it does taper in. Yeah, it tapers a little bit. Yeah. And then the uh, headroom is where you lose everything. Yeah. So this is where you got this tiny little brow pole here. <laughs> Versus, is that a brow pole? Yeah. That, that. Yeah, it's just a little plastic. And we'll, when we take off the rain fly, you'll see it. Okay. But it's it's tiny. Yeah. And so two people can't really sit up in here. Yeah. Two people can sleep in here, but sitting up, forget it. Yeah. But this little string here is kind of neat because what that does is it pulls open. Uh, when you attach this, you just clip it on here. And then it attaches to the, uh, this, the, 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 the tent here. And then it'll pull it open a little bit. You get a little bit more room, interior room on the inside. So that's kind of nice. And when you've got this set up properly, this door will be easily open with one hand. Okay. If you don't have it set up properly, sometimes you got tension kind of going like this or bending. Then you're kind of... Yeah. You'll, you'll know, right? That's it, kind of like a sign of... I didn't set up the tent right when you can't do this with one hand. Nice and clean with one hand. Yeah. So I slept in here with my son last night and we've got two 25 inch wide pads in here now. Oh, so it's kind of... It, I mean, it that, works. That's a good example of seeing how it how it works though. It gets a little squishy, but it does... It, I mean, you can make it happen. It, I, we were fine. Sort of. Granted, he's, you know, five foot and I'm six two because he's 11, so... Yeah. <laughs> Now, the biggest difference between these two tents is you're going to lose all of the... This isn't the hotel, yeah. right? This is like, uh, you know, the, the pop-up camper, <laughs> all right? <laughs> yeah. Or something, you know? This is... There's not much to this tent. There's, there are some pockets. It's more simple. Oh, Dan, I don't know. I kind of... I had a little bit of a... Oh, did you? Oh, man. I don't know if you oh. set it up right. Yeah, it, it, Emmett probably did it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like up here, there is some... There's definitely... There's a gear pocket up top here. Yeah. So you can throw here. There is a headlamp pocket here. There is definitely points to hang, um, like a headlamp or something else. Uh, they may offer like a gear thing you could put up here. I don't really know. Let's take off the rain fly and then I can show you just okay. kind of how the the headroom looks. That's the easiest way to look at that. So you, this is a semi freestanding tent versus a freestanding tent. The biggest difference, or the, the difference, means that it is. Uh, you need technically need two stakes to make it wide open. So you got to put two feet two at the foot, and that's why they call it a semi freestanding tank because it'll still stand up without those stakes in there. But you know, you're you're gonna stake it out. <laughs> you need to stake it out you, to you get do. the full space. You really do. Um, I, I was telling Eric earlier, you can you can jimmy rig a tra trekking pole between here if you had to, just to spread that out in a pinch if you needed to. Like if you couldn't get stakes in the ground down here or something like that, so you can do that. But you can see because there's only one pole going down the middle and because this brow pole, now other companies will have a, a, a pole, like a little a real significant actual pole. Nemo has just decided to make these little 
That's I've never seen that before. Things on it just opens it up a little bit, gives you a little <laughs> yeah. bit more headroom. I mean, it wasn't terrible with us in there. I mean, we did it. We managed. I mean, I mean, it seems like if you were to add another one here, it would be about the same. Yeah. In terms of headroom, yeah. so might as well have it be yeah. slightly more simple. Yeah. I think this is a glorified one-person tent. Yeah. It's it's a two-person tent. They'd make a one-person tent of this. Yeah. But I believe that the one-person tent only has one door and one vestibule. Okay. So, yeah, it's a great tent. I like it. This is probably my favorite double-wall backpacking tent. Yeah. Just because it's so lightweight. It weighs in, like, just over two pounds, like two pounds, five ounces, all in. If I was taking for, for wall my wife or somebody of the same size, <laughs> I would, I would definitely be looking yeah. at that tent to do, yeah. to take, because it's just more comfortable. I think, I think that tent is really well suited to not. Now I don't want to say the average backpacker, but somebody who's just more casually interested in backpacking, having comfort, having a nice tent at the end of the night. But if you are really doing a lot of miles, then this is, to me, clearly yeah. the, the better option. Yep, I agree. Yeah. All right, well, I think that's it. I think we uh, figured out the differences. So now it's up to <laughs> the I, viewers I, I to decide. I really wanted to high-five you. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Eric, make sure you follow him on his uh, new channel, Eric Hansen. Follow him, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, you guys decide which tent you like better. I don't really know because I think they don't even really fit one or the other. I think they're both serving great purposes. So yeah, they both have their reasons. They both have their reasons. I guess we'll see you guys on the next one.